What's going on, Floki fam and Token5 fam? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman, and I wanted to give you an update on the new sister token of Floki. That is Token. It is in the RWA sector, which we all know is very hot. It just launched uh, maybe 10 days ago or so, and of course, I gave a call a day or two before the launch to keep your eye on this and to market buy it directly after launch. Here you go, I had a three minute video. This was posted on Twitter on October 26th at 8.22 a.m. Three-minute video seen by over 30,000 people just here on Twitter. I also posted this on Instagram, posted it on TikTok, posted it on YouTube, and posted it in our private group at patreon.com slash learn crypto. If you didn't see it, you need to start following me to get involved with great opportunities in cryptocurrency leading into this bull cycle. Now, you know, I've liked Floki for a long time. We've rode the pumps. We've rode the dumps. We've traded it. We've used it. And we are long Floki and think it is the absolute best dog meme coin to have in your portfolio. Yes, better than SHIB. Yes, better than Doge. I think it has more upside potential and more utility. And now you can stake Floki. Now you can stake Floki for somewhere between 40 to 160% APR earning this new token. Now, why is this important? You see, oh, the Viking on here uh, commenting as well. People love that. 65 hearts on him uh, calling this video a legend or calling me a legend. You're a legend. But I wanted to talk about what has been happening with Token. What's the price looking like and what we're doing here. So the call, of course, I made uh, the Twitter post here on October 26th before it was even launched. This is the initial launching. Uh, of course, I got in here a little earlier, probably somewhere around $2 million market cap, but there were sniper bots, so it's very hard. I then went and made when the price consolidated back to about $3.4 million market cap that we are going long and you need to be going long on token. Ton of upside potential coming from a great team over at Floki. And what do you know? What do you know? Since that entry at just over $3 million, we are looking at a $32 million market cap. Remember, this is just the market cap here on BNB, and there is a correlating or similar market cap over on Ethereum as well because they have tokens on both networks. So that is, uh, yeah, you see that right, over a 10x in these market conditions quickly within about a week. Now, if I'm so bullish on token, Nick, why do I see a 50% sell here? Well, in order to acquire as much token as we wanted to, we did have to offload some Floki on the run-up. Now, you don't love to do that, but in these times where capital is tight, we have to make rotations. So we got into token here at $3 million. It went up 523% in five days. We went ahead and sold 50% of our position. Now, don't be mad at us because you got to listen to what we did with those funds. We made 523% money, uh, percent on our gain, uh, gains on our money here. We sold 50% of our token and rotated it back into Floki. And now we have locked Floki up into three month to four year staking for between 40% to 160% APR. And guess what we're earning as an APR? Yes, we are earning more token. So although we uh, took some profits on token here, I'm still bullish. I'll tell you why here in a second. But we rotated all those phones back into the ecosystem, buying more Floki and staking each and every one of those Floki to earn more token we didn't sell this uh run up here either of course this little minor run up was on the news that it was going to be listed on a lot of the centralized exchanges we have seen mexc gate.io and the list goes on and on list uh token now binance has listed token but only futures so i want to see some binance spot uh listed over there and also i want to see what's coming up because this week they're supposed to be laying out the roadmap for token Maybe we see some more centralized exchanges and maybe we see some more partnership and marketing news out of token that could, on a fundamental side, push this price higher. But now on a technical analysis side, why do I think you should remain long on token if you are long or if you missed this entire boat because for some reason you decide not to follow the crypto hitman or not be part of patreon.com slash learn crypto and you didn't buy it down here, why you should get long here and why this is a good opportunity. Of course, we've seen a nice pullback from these highs. We are now seeing oversold on the RSI on the one hour chart here. Volume has pretty much declined out, so it's not going to take much volume to get this thing pumping again. Also, I see a potential bull flag here. As you can see, this trend line here with the low here, the low here, and the low here that this trend line has been holding. We look at the highs from tip to tip to tip to tip to tip. And what do I see here? A bull flag. Now, how do you do the measured move of this bull flag? 
when we do it from the start, I like to be conservative. Some people will pull it all the way out here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it from the start of this impulse wave that kind of created this bull flag. So I'd be here. And then I right clicked it and cloned it and put it out here to where we, a potential breakout could be. This happens to be tomorrow. Maybe we have some big news that drives this breakout. That would give you a measured move up here of how much more gains from this current level. That would be an additional 113% gains just for the measured move. Also, if you're in my group or follow me on Twitter, that means the remaining portion of your token would be a whopping 1,118% gains if we reach this measured move. That is why you should be long, guys. A potential bull flag. This is a bullish uh, bullish formation. We also see oversold here. So this means uh, sellers are getting exhausted. We're seeing the lower volume. And we even have this checkpoint. This is kind of a conservative checkpoint. Would still put you above the all-time high here, creating new all-time highs. And we know what happens usually when there's uh, open air and you get the new all-time highs. You see some FOMO. You see some wicks. And that's how you can quickly get to this measure move target. Keep in mind, this measure move target is only a short-term target. Token can go much higher. As I mentioned, RWA, real world assets, are very hot topic in both traditional markets and crypto markets. And we haven't really seen any RWA cryptos take off just yet. Yes, we've seen massive gains here with token, but it's still only a $32 million market cap. This thing has a ton of room and a ton of upside potential, especially considering there's no VC investors, no pre sale investors, and just a fair launch and Floki token holders can earn token, known to be diamond hands. They can earn it, but it is over the course of four years. So we do have a pretty good and low inflation rate and pretty good distribution method for getting token out into the ecosystem. So you got to love to see it. Overall, super bullish on token here. Still on 50% of the bag, not looking to sell it anytime soon. Earning it with all of our Floki. Remember, you can stake it at staking.floki.com. Go ahead and do that. And remember, guys, look at the measure move potential here. Even from these levels, a impulsive 112% gains is in your face. Will you take the opportunity to buy this token dip? It's had a lot of good news. People are like, why didn't it pump after the sexes? It, guys, look at this chart. This is a healthy consolidation, flashing some buy signals. We'll see a Floki and TokenFi team follow it up with a nice roadmap, some nice news, some new partnerships, some new marketing, and to get token into some new holders' hands. Peace.